What's up guys, Corey coming to you live from the TAC Toys HQ and in this video, what we're gonna be doing is a very quick review on the M97 shotgun. I'm not too sure why I have never done a review on the M97. This is by far my most favorite shotgun. It's been out almost a year, possibly even over a year now. Uh, this thing quite simply is an absolute beast and it bloody hurts. So stay tuned, I'll go through everything you need to know. In the box, it's gonna come with a red muzzle just here at the front. All you do is just put on the black one if you want it to look a bit more realistic or you can keep the red one on. That's entirely up to you. This blaster is completely pump action. So all you do to make it function is pump it back and forward. Just like that, pull the trigger and you're good to go. At the top here, it actually comes with a hopper but in the box, it's not on. So it will look like this. That's what it's gonna look like out of the box and if you don't wanna use the hopper, there's actually just a little door down the bottom here. Slide it back, you tip the gel balls in Tip them in there, close the door, pump it, and fire. You're good to go. But if you do want to use this hopper, there's a little O on the front hand side. So you put that at the front. You slide it on and push it all the way back. You're good to go. There's just a door at the back here. Fill it up, close the door, pump it, shoot. It's as simple as that. The features of the blaster. Overall, it's a nylon plastic composite. Doesn't seem to be any metal besides the inner barrel, which is actually metal, which is kind of cool. I believe the spring inside is a 1.3 or a 1.4. Can't remember off the top of my head. I do know the FPS is shooting around 280 to 300. Let's chrono it just to be sure, as I haven't chronoed it in just a little while. So let's go see. Coming towards the back end just here, the pistol grip is extremely nice, I love it. But we also have a sling attachment or if you twist this off, you've also got somewhere that you can twist in a buffer tube. So if you wanted to, you can actually make this have a buffer tube and a buttstock, which would extend it by about this much. Some people like it, some people don't, it's entirely up to you. If you're gonna use the sling adapter, all you do is twist that one in. There's also the sling adapter point in the box as well. You push that one in, attach your sling to it, and it's gonna be sitting on your chest just like this, or on your back in the game as a secondary. Personally, I do like to run these as a primary in the games because they're so consistent. They shoot so far and they're a lot of fun. On the left-hand side here, you do have some Picatinny railings as well. If you did wanna say put on like a laser or a torch or the combo, uh, that can fit right there. Then you just put your pressure pad on either side, whichever one suits you. Just to be straight up with you guys, in all honesty, this, personally, I believe, is the best performing shotgun gel blaster straight out of the box. And for the price, it's actually unbelievable how good it performs. It has a buckshot, so if you wanted to try it with a buckshot, you angle it down, pump it back, hold it back for two or three seconds, pump it forward and shoot it. But if you just wanted a single shot, angle it down, pump it nice and quick, should be single shot, you'll get one or two. For the ability of the blaster, the functionality and the quality, then the price, it kind of does sell itself. So it's up to you if you do want one of these or a shell ejecting shotgun, but personally, this is me all day. This blaster is available in store and online right now. If you did want it, but you couldn't afford it, well, now you can with the pay it later system. Get this right now and then just pay it off installments as you go. This is Corey from Tactoys. Happy blasting.